Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to day two of Advent of Code, an adventure that I will likely regret, where we choose a new language every day to do the Advent of Code challenge in. If I get the challenge wrong on the first try, chat gets to replace one of these languages here on my magical wheel with a language of their choosing. I made that rule up yesterday on the spot and I'm already like, I can feel like all the comments on the YouTube video yesterday were, oh, Haskell, Brainfuck, Ada, Fortran. Like the minute I start to get this wrong, it's going to be a disaster. Let's get started here. We're gonna, we're gonna spin the wheel. We got a couple good ones. I replaced C++ yesterday with Rust. I really wanna get Rust on the board. I wanna do some Rust challenges. I wanna get a little bit better with Rust. So let's spin this wheel. Chat, are we ready to go? Let's get, let's get rolling. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> PHP, okay. Um, Jesus Christ. Sometimes in life you do things that you don't necessarily think through. And like, I kind of put PHP on here as a meme to myself, but I kind of forgot about it. So, advent of code day two in PHP. This was such a mistake. I'm, I'm already regretting this. So the issue is I need to actually like install PHP, I think. So, okay, so I have Nginx. So we just need to do Nginx PHP. Dude, if this is more than like a one-liner, I'm gonna cry. Or Docker image, yeah, I might just do that. Beautiful. All right, cool. So in theory now, if we go here, to, so if I do like echo AO, are we good? Perfect, okay, we're winning. We're cooking with oil. Let's go ahead and read the challenge now. So if you're not familiar with Advent of Code, every day we have a challenge where we have to help the elves through some kind of predicament in their you know, attempt to fix some kind of problem. So the issue is that there's no snow. We are trying to figure out how to help the elves make snow. We do that by collecting stars and doing challenges. So day two, cube conundrum. So yesterday they put us into a trebuchet and they launched us into the sky. So here we are, you're launched high into the atmosphere. The apex of your trajectory just barely reaches the surface of a large island floating in the sky. Oh, that's interesting. You gently land in a fluffy pile of leaves. It's quite cold, but you don't see much snow, unfortunate. An elf runs over to greet you. Hey elf, what's going on? The elf explains you've arrived at Snow Island and apologizes for the lack of snow. He'll be happy to explain the situation, but it's a bit of a walk, so you have some time. As you walk, the elf shows you a small bag and some cubes which are either red, green, or blue. Each time you play the game, he will hide a secret number of cubes of each color in the bag. Okay, so we said red, green, blue, cubes, he puts in the bag, great. And your goal is to figure out information about the number of cubes. To get information, once a bag has been loaded with cubes, the elf will reach into a bag, grab a handful of random cubes, show them to you, and put them back in the bag. We'll do this a few times per game. You play several games and record the information from each game, your puzzle input. So each game is listed with its ID number, game one, for example, like the 11 in game 11. Okay, so we have to figure out how to parse this string in PHP, followed by a semicolon separated list of subsets of cubes that were revealed from the bag, like three red, five green, four blue. Okay, so three red, four, four red. Okay, this is one game, and these are the random showings that we have. The elf would first like to know which games would have been possible if the bag had only contained 11 or 12 red cubes, 13 green cubes, and 14 blue cubes. In the example above, games one and two would have been possible, or one, two, and five would have been possible if the bag had been loaded with that configuration. Okay, this is literally just a, a, a game in uh, string parsing. So determine which games would have been possible if the bag had been loaded with only 12 red cubes, 13 green cubes, and 14 blue cubes. What is the sum of the IDs of those games. Okay, so effectively the solution here is gonna be read for every line, parse the string into parts. So we have the split off the colon space part that gets us the game section and the data section. And within that, split off of the semicolon space. And we could do this in regex. God damn it. This is, okay, so this isn't even a PHP challenge. This is a regex challenge. Oh dear God. Okay, so let's go to regexer real quick. If you haven't used regexer before, huge tool, really powerful in making regexes. This was not a good idea. All right. <laughs> I really, 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 really don't want to do regex. You can do file equals day two.txt. We'll do this. Um, we'll get our puzzle. Actually, we're going to start with this one, right? Um, so someone would have been eight for this. Okay. Uh, let's do this. We'll do day two and we'll go over here to our AOC day two and we'll vim um, day2.txt 
this will be our, our sample input, right? So let's make sure that our PHP still runs. Okay, so we have a 500 internal error. Wonderful. It's file get contents underscore. I see. File get contents, not file read contents. If this, no more 500 error. Perfect. Um, so this is not file, this is file data. Uh, we could do echo. Perfect. Okay. Lines equals explode file data on new line. So to iterate over an array in PHP, it's for each line as the reference to lines. And we'll do, instead of echo file data, we'll do echo line. Perfect. Oh, string separator and then the string. That's, that's pretty bad. Um, beautiful. Okay, so we have that split and now we're splitting the, so now let's do echo line and then echo new line. Has to be BR, you're right, because we're using, it's rendering as HTML. Cool, all right, there we go. Class in chat. So we're now, we're opening the file. Let's go. Also, I got to chill because my, my son's room, who's a baby, by the way, uh, is like right upstairs. So if I'm too loud, that poor kid will wake up at seven in the morning on a Saturday. So only four months we start learning, learning Rust. His first language will be HTML. Okay, we'll get him, we'll get him a little, a little HTML for babies. So we have this line, right? And the syntax is game n colon space three x four y game equals line vi no 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 because for some reason the splitter is the first part so we're going to explode the line with the colon space and then we'll do um explode the line and it's index zero game one perfect god i have the fact that i have to put html in my solution like this is a like i'm I'm not happy about it. Dude, th this is going to be disgusting. More and more, I might be considering doing regex, but like, because what I'm going to have to do now is do explode sp uh, into space this and then take the, the first if element. Okay, so I mean, I have this, but like, look at this shit. This is a disaster. This is really bad. Ah, it's so gross. No, this this is a regex challenge. I have to, I have to do a regex some repeating amount of these groups d and then it's going to be a white space character and then it's going to be one of either green or blue or red wait do you even have a valid regex license no i don't um let's see so i need these groups i need this and then this okay so we're going to iterate over every line okay 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 then we'll do um preg match pattern subjects which i'm already feeling like is going to not work let's see boom 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 line and the matches go into aha okay is this correct wonderful and then let's do can we echo an array is that like allowed in php i think it's the new line that's making it sad can do what is it, like g three blue four red fuck this dude all right we're, we're just gonna go the explode route i'm over it i'm good okay so <laughs> rounds equals explode by colon space the game i'm good nope thank you no thanks regex i could have been done by now if i didn't go the regex route i swear to god holy shit okay good three blue four red boom 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 okay so now we're gonna do for each rounds as round echo round and then echo burr. Round one, round two, round three, wonderful. And then we do cubes equals explode by comma space. And then for each uh, echo cube, so much easier. So game one, we have three blue, four red. We have one red, two green, six blue. We have two green, wonderful. Okay, so going back to the whole point of this, what we have to do is walk the amount of cubes that are each color in every game and if these numbers are above at any given point the maximum amount so it was 12 red 13 green 14 blue so we got to create some var global variables here so we'll say max red equals what is it 12 max green equals 13 and we'll do max blue equals 14. cool so we have each cube and then now we have to split again. Color equals explode by space the cube of one. And then number equals explode by space. Yeah, I'm gonna get so much flame for this in the chat, but like, or in the YouTube comments, but I, I don't give a fuck. 
and then we'll say, how do I convert, uh, cast to an int? Uh, int to, or stir to int PHP. This feels like C typecasting though. This is really bad, oh my God. So we'll do this, we'll do echo num. Wonderful, wonderful. Guys, we're having a blast, we're having a good time. All right, three, three, two, two, one, one, wonderful. If stir compare, if not stir compare, color to red and num is greater than max red game possible equals false great take this we're gonna copy this oh. we're cooking let me cook let me cook i refuse to touch php yeah i agree dude uh blue num mac greater than max blue and then green green number than max green okay what do we got 500 error perfect okay that's what i wanted oh 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 guys guys if not strict yeah i had the paren in the wrong spot total sum equals zero no, not a double equals equals zero so now, now if this is possible we do um total sum plus equals game num and i have to cast this to an int int of explode perfect so we'll do this zero still possible yep good echo no we won't echo ao we are going to echo total sum. All right, ladies and germs, here's the deal. Things are about to get weird. Are we, are we confident? No one's, oh my God, the nose are, okay. For now we're evening up. Ooh. Part two, in each game played, what is the fewest number of cubes of each color that could have been in the bag to make the game possible. In this one, there could have been as few as six blue, two green, four red. The power of a set of cubes equal to the number of red, green, and blue multiplied by each other. The power of the minimum set of the cubes in the game is 48, four, two, six, there we go, okay. Give it a little stretch. So what we have to do here effectively is just track the, the maximum number. Uh, min red equals zero, min green equals zero, min blue equals zero. Um, if color equals green and num is greater than min green, min green equals num. And we literally just copy this. We'll do RGB, red, blue, power equals min red times min green times min blue total sum plus equals power. And then I'm gonna have my day two input. We'll change this from day two to we'll vim sample.txt because I don't wanna mess this up. Go to slash part two.php. Great. <laughs> oh, click that, boom, sweet. Okay, 2286. Is that the answer for this? Okay, so this is the correct answer for the sample. Day two.txt, here we go. Okay, so in theory, that's, that's the answer. I've got a lot of believers. Okay. Dude, if I get this wrong, the, the doubters are gonna cash out. 10,000 on yes and only 400 on no. Zero points for you? Well, you gotta hang out here, man, and get me get yourself some points. All right, here we go, guys. Whoa, let's go. Let's go. We won this day, first try. Normally, I would replace the wheel myself, but stand by real quick. I'm going to choose, but chat will have the opportunity to, to suggest answers. Uh, I'm going to erase PHP because I refuse to ever do that again. That was horrible. Um, let's see. Elixir, Elixir, Mojo, O'Camel. Ladies and germs, we are adding Elixir to the wheel as an input from chat. If you suggest Haskell or Brainfuck, I will, I will just ban you. Advent of code, day two in the books. A little bit of PHP. I didn't mind PHP the language so much. I mound, I mounded, minded, um, regex. Regex ain't it. If you're ever doing stuff and you feel like you need regex, just don't, just split, parse, split, parse, and you're all good. Portability of your code, the ability for someone else to read your code and adapt it later on, fuck that. All you need to do is explode your strings and go on from there. So if you enjoyed this video, hang out with me tomorrow on day three, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.